Good evening, everyone. Ads here from Unity Trading Group. Welcome to the Monday update. Before we begin, I'd like to bring your attention down below into the, the signature and the description, of course. Hit the links down below if you want to stay informed and join part of our conversation even further than TradingView, of course. But without further ado, BTC, where are we at? Where are we going? Where have we been? And BTC has, in fact, moved through that level, uh, which is which was, excuse me, the $40,000 level of supply that we spoke about last week. And we are making inroads to, you know, possibly head towards that 44000 or even 45 k in regards to that. And uh, looking like this price action uh, is a little bit sporadic at the, at the given time. And let's draw in some fresh TA to really explain that. And why I say it's sporadic is because we are getting a little bit of mixed signals in the sense of we are holding key levels of support. However, we are trending now below the 50 and we are moving to the downside in the way of Steamroller. And you can find out more about Steamroller in the links in the signature and the description down below. But let's draw in some TA and find out where we're at. So in respect to levels of demand and supply, uh, levels of demand are pretty easy to find. Uh, if you've been doing it for quite some time, they're not easy to begin with, but uh, you can get the hang of it uh, after some time. That one's probably a little bit too close, but let's, let's highlight the one that we've got now. So using that candle structure to the left hand side that I've got circled. Uh, we are finding ourselves back at this level of, uh, uh, excuse me, demand and support rather as well. So, and that would coincide nicely with some levels of fib. So if I draw in from swing low to swing high, you can probably expect the Fibonacci levels to line up quite nicely again as well. Uh, so we're looking at the 38, 50, 61 type scenario here and the 38 and the 50 have been respected so far as well as our level of demand. So it's looking okay for this time frame. It's looking okay. What can we expect from here? There's going to be two things and two critical levels that we're looking for uh, in the sense of we've got the 61.8 down here coincides to the lower extremity of our level of demand. And of course, if we do move through this level of demand, we'll make a lower low in our market structure and possibly uh, start a movement similar to this. If we moved down below the 61, we could do something along the lines of this. Uh, if we were to see the 61 be broken and of course our lower low uh, be formed there. So we create a lower low, lower high, and then another, another lower low to invalidate uh, this upwards formation that we're seeing now. That's one scenario. Second scenario is we you know, hold where we are and then we continue further up next level being negative 27.2 and of course coinciding with you know roughly 44 500 45k that's the next area of interest in the way of a supply and in this in the way of supplies go or as far as supplies go it's a decent one because it is in fact on a pivot point come down pivot upwards and then a, a pretty striking move to the downside. So it is quite significant. It is high quality and the high quality levels are the most important because they are price magnets, prices attracted to these points. So it's more likely to see price move to a higher level or a higher quality level of supply than it is a low level, low quality one. In fact, if we were to draw in one here, this would be low quality. And then there's more likelihood that we'll see this scenario happen rather than this one in the sense of supply and demand or as far as supply and demand is concerned currently. So two scenarios. And, you know, really just coming down to are we going up or are we going down? Well, you know, the, the price action, the market structure is towards the bulls currently. Because we have higher high here, higher high, higher high, and we have 
lower high, lower high, lower, high low, excuse me, high low, high low, high low, excuse me. So we have a, a scenario forming like this. Could be the next play. That's the more likely scenario at this point. We haven't seen a lower low being printed yet, as I did draw in. We didn't haven't seen this scenario play out where we're creating lower lows. So the bias is still uh, very much to the upside until we see that happen. I'm not suggesting that we'll see you know forty five thousand immediately. I am just saying that we can expect. Uh, you know, more upside unless we are proven otherwise until we see a lower low and then we are out of the market and moving towards a downside again, invalidating this move into the upside. So I, I hope that's insightful. I hope uh, that that just gives you a glimpse of my thought process. Of course, we need to invalidate, uh, you know, movements uh, with price action. So we need to see those lower lows be printed. We need to see these levels of demand be broken before we make any sort of judgment call uh, whether or not we're going to see 36, 35,000 again. And that is exactly the same with 45 as we were looking last week. We were waiting for, you know, levels of supply to break, levels of resistance to fall. We we're waiting for higher highs to be printed. And that's what we're observing now. So I hope that was insightful. Uh, leave your comments down below uh, and we'll see you in the next videos. Bye for now.